things over to Taylor to talk more about these breezy conditions. I don't know, I'm getting my groove on over here after that last story. <laughs> I know, I wanna go to these concerts now. I know, they always have the best stuff going on when we're at work, but we like our job, so I guess it's not too much of a miss out. All right, taking a look at Morro Bay, our 805 webcams. It was the same picture we saw all the way across the beaches, the coastlines, lots of marine layer pushing in today. It had a hard time burning off. We only saw pockets of sunshine across the area. And that'll be what we see tomorrow pretty similarly as well. Now, taking a look at Cuesta Peak, we even saw a little bit of moisture on that camera, mainly from so how low those clouds are. We just had nothing but clouds across the area for a lot of the area. And as I was talking about heading into Sunday, we'll see that marine layer come back and it will burn off a little bit better than yesterday. But for majority of our day, it will be very cloudy. This is Sunday, 11 a.m. We'll start to see it dissipate as we head into the evening hours and we'll see things be pretty clear for the next couple of days thanks to our little friend the wind coming back that is right right now we don't have anything really strong going on San Luis Obispo eight miles an hour Paso Robles 15 but as we head into Sunday evening we will start to see things pick up we got those wind speeds going up 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 as we head into the afternoon upwards of 20 miles an hour for a lot of the forecast area and then we get a small tiny little lull in this wind action on on Monday morning, this is 6 a.m., but the lull is very, very minimal because throughout the day, Monday in the afternoon into the evening, we've got a whole lot of wind speeds. Again, 25 miles an hour, almost 30 over in Paso Robles, and that will linger, unfortunately, throughout the entirety of the week. It won't be as bad as it is throughout the week as we'll see on Monday and Sunday. Those will be the two days that you need to watch out for, especially overnight Sunday. Now, talking temperature wise, we were a little bit cooler, except for in those interior areas. Paso Robles was pushing 80, but the rest of the area was in those low 60s. That had a lot to do with the cloud coverage we saw today, but we do have something building out here. We've got those clouds starting to dissipate as we head into Monday morning, but a ridge will start to build out here on the Pacific. That will take over. You see the clouds start to dissipate even more so as you head into Tuesday, and we're going to see our temperatures go up, 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 up. So another warming trend from Tuesday through the week are going to see the highest temperatures on Wednesday, Thursday, and even Friday. But talking about Sunday, we're still pretty low here. We're in those mid to upper 60s. Paso Robles, though, is holding on to those upper 70s. We've got low 60s for the North Coast, Avila Beach in the mid 60s, and Atascadero 75. So inland, not as cool as, of course, our beaches and coastline. Pismo Beach 64, Roy Grande 66. Down in Santa Barbara County, we've got a couple 70s, San Inez, Solvane, Goleta 67. But let's just take a peek at that seven day forecast. So we've got some really, really warm temperatures, like I said, from Tuesday through Thursday, pushing 90s in the interior. So Paso Robles is going to be very, very hot. San Luis Obispo, we're pushing 90 again on Thursday, but we've got mainly mid 80s, Santa Maria and Santa Barbara, lots of 80s. So we've got nice, warm, warm conditions. Dusty.